Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a purchase order import. Purchase order import is useful if you needed to populate a very large purchase order with a number of items from a spreadsheet, or it can also be used to bring new items into your inventory, to create new items, to update existing items, or to even import items from a catalog. I'm going to be showing you an example of all three today. And uh, as you can see here, looking at my inventory, I'm entirely out of stock of all six of my games, including my most expensive game, the $175 Scythe Collector's Edition. I definitely want to add more stock, and I maybe even want to bring in some new games as well. So let's take care of that by doing a purchase order import. Click on Inventory, followed by Purchase Orders. And we can see that I already have a purchase order that is underway for Fantasy Flight Games. I'll click on the ID to open it, and we can see that no items have yet been added to this purchase order. We're going to bring those in from our CSV spreadsheet by clicking on Import on the submenu. We have a great big Upload CSV File button here. We also have this checkbox underneath to update existing items. If this checkbox is checked, Lightspeed is going to go through the spreadsheet and try to match the items that it finds on there with items that already exist in your local inventory. If it finds a match, it's going to update the information of that file with the information from the spreadsheet. And if it doesn't find a match, it'll simply create a new line item. If this box is unchecked, Lightspeed will create a new item in your inventory for every single line on the spreadsheet. That's not what we want to do today though, uh, so we're going to leave that checkbox checked. And to get a better idea of what we do want to accomplish today, let's take a look at the spreadsheet that I've prepared. As we can see here, the first six items on this spreadsheet are the six games that already exist in my store. I've created a quantity of five for each of these because that's how many I want added to the purchase order. And you can tell that these are the games that already exist in the system because they all have a system ID assigned to them, which is the unique identifying number that Lightspeed assigns to everything in the system. The next three lines are brand new games that I don't yet have in my inventory, but that I'd like to carry. I've ordered two of each of these, and I've filled out as much information as I can. In the final row, I've only added a vendor ID. But because that vendor ID corresponds to Fantasy Flight Games, the vendor for this purchase order, we're going to see that Lightspeed automatically imports that information from the catalog. As it happens, that's a game called Android, and we'll find it later. I also want to make some changes to at least one of my existing items. As you can imagine, the being a collector's edition, the Scythe game is a little bit difficult to find. So I've decided I'm going to charge a little bit more for it. We're going to update that $175 price to an even $200. We'll save our changes, and now we're ready to import this spreadsheet into our purchase order. Let's go ahead and click the Upload CSV File button, select the file, and now we're on the Assign Columns stage. What Lightspeed does is it reads all of the column headings that you have in your spreadsheet file. And it shows you the available fields in Lightspeed where it can put that information. For many of these, it's going to guess, and probably correctly, where you want that information to go. System ID will go to system ID, vendor ID to vendor ID, UPC to UPC, and so on. But if the names don't match closely enough, we might have to manually assign some of these columns. You can see that menu fact skew we're going to put under Manufacturer SKU. Item will become Description. Quantity will become Order Quantity. Price will stay Price. Unit Cost will stay Unit Cost. And all of these columns are columns that cannot be imported through a purchase order import, so we're simply going to leave them at Ignore Column. You can optionally enter in an email address where you'll receive notification when your import is complete. And of course, we have our customary warning that this action cannot be reversed. So make sure you've given everything a good once over before you click Import Items to Purchase Order. We've just done that, of course, so we're, let's click the Import button and see what happens. We're automatically brought to this page where we can see that our import is in progress. 
You can check on the progress of all of your imports by clicking on Settings, followed by Jobs. And you can see that in the time it took us to do that, we've already finished our import. So let's go back and take a look at our purchase order. And we can see here that all of the items that we wanted have been added to this purchase order. You remember that I had one item where I'd only entered the vendor ID, but it's filled everything in for me. We've got the name of the item, the retail price, and so on. We've also added in all of the games that I didn't already carry, and everything has had its order quantity automatically filled with the number that I assigned on the spreadsheet. Now all we've done is populate this purchase order. We haven't sent it to the vendor yet, we haven't received it, we haven't checked in any of these items, and we haven't added them to inventory. So our stock levels will not have been updated. But let's go take a look at our inventory locally anyway, under item search. And we can see that our new games are already added to our inventory. Here we've got the vendor ID game Android. We've got our new games, Dead of Winter, Eclipse, and so on. And we can see that the Scythe Collector's Edition has had its price already updated to the new $200 price. The quantity is still zero, and that will change when we receive the items from the purchase order. But Lightspeed has already generated the new items in our inventory. So even if you're not ready to order new items from a vendor and receive new stock, you can still create new items in your system by going through a purchase order import. That concludes our video for today. And don't forget to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.